clinical trials. Now, with clinical trials, you think there must be some sort of check and balance in regards to checking the data with clinical trials to make sure clinical trials, which involve drugs and medications and tons of other pharmaceuticals which you consume, must have some sort of regulatory body that double checks the information that's being reported to them. Well, to your surprise, and also to the surprise of JAMA, the Journal of American Medical Association, this March, they discovered a massive number of discrepancies. And this is what they said. Out of all the clinical trials they looked at, their quote was, nearly all had at least one discrepancy in the study group intervention or results reported between two sources. What does that mean? Meaning their clinical trials that they report to these medical journals were different than the results in the clinical trials they reported to the government. What type of differences? Dosages, frequencies, durations of intervention, how long the trials ran, uh, side effects or fatalities, or anything along those trials with different reporting between what was reported to the government and what was reported to medical journals for advertising and promotion. So, what they said in quote, the research identified 96 trials reporting results on clinicaltrial.gov that were published in high-impact journals between July 1, 2010 and June 30, 2011. For 70 trials, 73% of the trials were funded by the person that was going to make money off approval of the medication. 93 out of 96 of the trials had at least one major discrepancy between what they reported to the medical journals and what they reported to the government. That's even if they reported anything to the government or clinicaltrials.gov. And their conclusion was this. Because articles published in high impact journals are generally the highest quality research studies that undergo more rigorous peer review, the trials in our sample, the Journal of American Medical Associations, were actually the highest quality trials available. So even in the gold standard, there was a little bit of fibbing between what was reported to us, the public, and what was actually reported to the government itself for drug approval. Something to think about when you look at your medical trials and you're taking a drug that your life depends on, that the research itself may not be the research that you think you have. Thank you.